brutalism is an architectural style that originated in the 1950s and became popular in the 1960s. Its name comes from the French baton brut, which means raw concrete, as this material is one of the most characteristic elements of the style. Its main features are the apparent use of concrete, offering visuals where natural texture and tonality are the protagonists of the buildings. Brutalist buildings often have an austere and massive aesthetic, with simple and repetitive geometric shapes. The use of industrial materials and innovative construction techniques is also common in brutalism. This architectural style has been used in a wide range of constructions, from houses and public buildings to stadiums and shopping centers. In Mexico, this style was very popular during the 1960s and 1970s, because concrete was considered a modern and economical material. Among the most well-known examples of brutalist architecture in Mexico is Agust and Hernandez's Cosa en el Air. Although this style lost popularity in the 1980s and 1990s, today we are witnessing a significant boom where some principles of this style are being adapted in different contexts. Today, we want to introduce you to some examples located in Mexico, which speak of a reinvention not only of the style itself but of the unique identity of contemporary Mexican architecture. Situated in the heart of the Mayan jungle in Aldiazama, Tulum. The villa was created by Espacio 18 Architectura, in collaboration with Adrian and Andrea, a young couple from Ottawa, Canada. The inspiration came from the magical San Oza Itun in Yucatan which captured their hearts, and they decided to create a home that embodied the natural beauty and spatial quality of the region. Villa Cava is a sensory experience, designed to offer a unique and unforgettable stay for guests. The project was created with the intention of bringing people together in a space that offers rest, inspiration, and personal growth. The villa features an architectural concept inspired by a cave, Senot, with natural overhead lighting provided by a glass bottom pool. The luxury is given through nature, providing a connection with the surrounding environment. The house was carefully designed to blend in with the existing landscape. The construction regulations and existing trees influenced the outline of the house, while the jungle views were considered to ensure complete privacy. The brutalist-inspired fortress is made of raw wood-formed concrete, which is slowly uncovered to reveal itself as a carved sculpture. The materials were selected to harmonize with the immediate context, considering the humid and rainy climate as well as the potential for hurricanes. The commission was to design a refuge for surfers in the area of La Salada de Beach. It is a peculiar case arising from the exchange of ideas and good conversations, the search for creative coincidences, and the discussion of better conceptual differences between client and architect. Cosanu was the material reinforcement of a friendship of years, which now offers a different and innovative experience for those who want a quiet refuge after enjoying the waves in this part of the Mexican Pacific. The layout of the volumes on this corner lot was obtained like someone who takes advantage of the best waves when being on the board. Some areas with large mango trees were preserved to give their cool shade over the grain areas, projecting freshness and pleasant privacy between neighbors. The architectural program found unconventional solutions since it manages to distribute some essential areas of the house throughout an external space, the laundry room, the storage room, and a guest bathroom are located here, in addition to other essential spaces such as a laundry niche, a machine room, a functional rack for surfboards, a locked cellar to store the boards and private outdoor showers with a view of the infinite blue sky. This set of specifically designated spaces is placed in the form of a service drain that, at the same time, provides a strong perimeter of protection to the property. The exposed concrete with slatted formwork highlights the strength of the walls, as well as the polished concrete with brass joints on the floor, pine wood on doors and windows, and various previously oxidized and varnished metallic elements.
Casa Merida is a single-family house project located in the historic center of Merida, a few blocks away from its main central square, in its colonial area. Merida is the capital of Yucatan, but also the capital of the Mayan culture, Yucatan representing a large part of the Mexican Mayan territory. Casa Merida project is exploring the relationship between contemporary and traditional architecture both connected through a very simple use of vernacular references. When entering for the first time on site, something memorable was the unique proportion of the plot, which is a broken rectangle of 80 meters long x 8 meters wide, looking like a big lane. Here came the one and only idea of the project, to preserve this 80 meters perspective, as a straight line crossing the entire plot from the entrance door until the ending point, where the swimming pool is located inserting back the traditional airflow cooling concept as a starting point. But it was not only about the air circulation, but this long perspective is also referring to the Mayan antique culture and architecture, and more precisely to its Mayan ASAC Bay tilde copyright a literally the white path, stone ways covered with white limestone stuck. The project of the House of the Alfres Gorge takes its origin from the concept of a cabin and the romantic idea of a protective shelter in the middle of the forest an isolated house seeking to resemble an object that would have been deposited on the ground, among the trees. The design of the house is developed based on three main points, 1. The project responds to the idea of an isolated house in the forest, without ever losing sight of the need for a strong sense of security of house as a safe made of concrete that defends and takes care of its inhabitants. Backslash. 2. The structural project seeks to be as compact as possible, with the footprint as small as possible, in order to avoid a complex and costly foundation due to the steep slope of the terrain. The house is mounted on the natural slope, flying among the pines on its southwest corner, and semi-buried on its opposite northeast corner. 3. The house increases its height to seek the light among the trees, and at the same time a relationship with the top of those majestic pines present on the ground. Following the logic of its compact footprint of 9.5 mts x 9.5 mts, the purpose of the project has been to grow vertically, instead of horizontally. The vertical growth allows the house to seek the light among the trees, complementing the very location of the house in the northeastern part of the lot this part being the highest and sunniest. Cositu is located in La Pundersukitla, a place on the Pacific coast of Golden Sunsets, where the sea, the sand, and the cliffs form a unique panorama. A discreet oasis of unusual architecture to immerse yourself in a state of absolute reflection. The project was outlined under the imprint of simplicity and conceptual elegance, where tradition and avant-garde are amalgamated in an unprecedented structure embraced by the tranquility of nature. Its name, Kasatu, arises from the idea of serene contemplation in a defined space, as the reinterpretation of an Oaxican temple, which generates a radical sensory experience just by entering it. The structure evokes the lattice pattern of two historic waterworks of timeless beauty, the Basilica Cisterniera Batanserei in Istanbul, dating from the 6th century, and the Hornsey Wood Reservoir in London's Finsbury Park, built in the 19th century. Privacy against the exposed is evident. Through the interior views, a haven is created bordered by the sky, the forcefulness of the walls, and by the vegetation with shoots of vines and banana and passion fruit trees. In its 600 square meter surface, Godev Thoy intertwines aesthetics and functionality, emphasizing the honesty of the textures of raw materials, such as concrete, steel, clay, and wood. Cossitu's natural environment defined its interior design, which was inspired by the natural hue of the blue Madagascar palm tree Bismarckian located on the original grounds. 
the color palette is made up of the typical tones of concrete and stainless steel, which are complemented by shades of turquoise, present in the ironworks, the lamps by Natural Urbano Studio, and some decorative details in addition to yellow, blue, and green accents, which contrast in the glassware and textile elements made by Vivenda. Alfredo Orozco's experimental textile workshop and the Tolarojo rugs. To convey simplicity and delicacy, furniture was made by expert cabinet makers from Puebla, Guadalajara, and Oxica, which, together with the bamboo pieces designed by Diago Sol as Van Buren, emphasize the textures and add character to the environments. These unique pieces, which show the rich craftsmanship and creativity of local talents, can be purchased by guests under a fair trade scheme, allowing an exceptional object to be integrated into their daily lives. Thank mm -hmm. you.